Hi, I'm Bernard Carter, CTO at Note Micro, and this is what's in the lab. Uh, today I have the Dragon Canyon um, Nook, which is a 12 Extreme. This is a really interesting system. It's designed, uh, you know, for gamers, um, people looking for a small form factor, you know, sort of high performance system that can support a video card. And instead of disassembling it um, in front of you, I actually kind of have it open so we can see what's inside. Um, there's a couple pieces that were removed already. There's some cowling here. There's a like a blower input for the CPU fan. Some side pieces here. And then I've also removed this cowl that sits over the M.2 slots and the uh, processor, which is a socketed processor, and these uh, uh, sodium slots as well. So if we take a look at the inside, um, we have this sort of compute, like a Nook Elements uh, compute card here with a socketed processor. The sodiums fit vertically, which is a little bit different than uh, we've seen in the past. And then we got the two M.2 slots right here, and this card is slotted into what essentially looks like a PCIe 16X slot. And then here we have the slot for our video card. Um, if we put this up here and take a look, we can see the kind of space we have for a video card is um, a little bit narrower towards the back, but we have some power connections and a 650 watt power supply. So definitely a lot packed into this little uh, box here. Um, other interesting thing that I think is uh, worth pointing out is we're sucking air in here, bringing it into this blower and then out the top, and then these fans are also sort of exiting. So it's, you know, a lot of air movement running through this as well. If we talk about the I.O. on the back, um, you know, we have six USB uh, ports, two Thunderbolt slash USB-C ports here as well. We have the HDMI and then uh, a 10 gig and a 2.5 gig um, network port. So definitely neat there. Um, if we look on the back here, we can also see the power supply has its own fan um, sucking air in uh, there for cooling. Overall, a really neat system with a lot of packed uh, inside. Um, definitely going to do some more uh, videos and demos with this, probably running uh, maybe some open Vino workloads or something that actually could take K, uh, use some of the GPU or the, the GPU that's based inside here. This is an i9 model, so it does have integrated graphics, but obviously you would typically put a video card in here. Uh, thanks for watching.